What's happening there, hat folks? G the Hat Guy here, back at you with another awesome hat video. So, you know, you're kind of wondering, maybe you're going to like a jazz outing or a jazz concert over the weekend, whether it's local or out of, out of state, something like that. You're looking for some nice uh, hats to wear. Okay, I've got some great options in this video for some classic jazz and concert uh you know, add options for you most definitely. Okay. And that's the title of the video today. It's going to be the jazz and concert hat options for you. Okay. So, you know, I've got some great classic, you know, standard type stuff, you know, that you see a lot of, you know, at a lot of uh, jazz and concert type outings for, uh, for grown folks out there, you know, whatnot. So, you know, this video is going to kind of showcase some of the options. Again, you can check with your local hat shop, see what they have. Otherwise look online and see what they have for you, you know, uh, prior to uh stepping out you know when you're trying to get your ensemble your outfits together kind of step out to that jazz concert okay so let's get right into the video folks okay again this is g the hat guy here the first option i've got for you you're looking at the uh a nice panama hat okay this is uh, it's got a center dent you see the weave right there okay two pinches in the front it's got a multicolor band on there this is very unique you know at the jazz concerts and those kind of things you see a lot of uh you know, people wearing like your, uh, uh, your standard, you know, Panama, maybe like a, a lower grade type Panama. You see some higher grades in there too for the, for the real hat folks that know how to hold it down when it comes to quality and stuff, you know, but you know, it's got the classic black band with the bleached, uh, Panama straw hat or more of like the off white color. This one is the off white. Okay. But this one kind of gives you something special because it's got the multicolor band vintage, uh uh band look to this one this sort of like a polyester blend band on this one okay so this kind of makes your hat pop okay other than the folks that they've got the one with the black band on it which is typical you see a lot of people wearing that stuff but you wear something like this it's gonna pop out you see what i mean this band is a multicolor it's got a vintage type look to it okay so it's got the vintage effect on here so it's gonna stand out people are gonna check out your hat more then, you know, everybody else that's kind of wearing the typical bleached or off-white color Panama or Shantung hat with a black band on it. So this is going to make you stand out. You know, they're going to wonder, like, well, where do you get that from, you know? So this is a grade 8 Panama straw hat. You see where the weave stands out there, okay? I've got videos about Panama hats. I have to spot the quality, that kind of stuff. This has got the stamp on it, on the inside, as you can see, the burn stamp. I believe it says handmade in uh, Ecuador is what that stamp is. So to recognize the genuine Panama, it's got to have that burn stamp on the inside there. Okay. This one has got the uh, woven elastic band on the inside there, but this is a grade eight. It's got the bound edge. You see the, the brim is kind of sewn down there. Okay. And uh, like I said, I've got several videos on Panama hats there. Um, well, a few videos, uh, but yeah, this will make you kind of stand out. This is about a two inch brim on this one. Okay, the brim is not too wide, but very classic. You know, you get them, you know, with a little bit wider brim, maybe like a three inch brim would be nice. You know, even three and a half inch brim. You know, you go into a, uh, 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 outdoor concert, like a jazz festival or jazz concert or some other type of, you know, R&B, you know, music festival, whatever it be, blues festival, something like that with your cigar and maybe you're able to have open bar, you're able to get bourbon and all that stuff out there because, you know, have folks, man. Hats go with bourbon, cigars, and live music. That's what hat, that's what the typical hat person does. You know, cigars, bourbon, and live music. I'm into two of them: hats and uh, live music. I'm not. I don't smoke or, uh, or or drink alcohol really. You know, bourbon I can probably get away with that every uh, once in a <laughs> blue moon. You know. Uh, a little bit here and there, but I'm not really a drinker. So, but anyways, uh, yeah. So like I said, you want to get you something that, that the band kind of pops on there. So this is very unique other than, you know, you're looking like everybody else. You know, you got the black, the hat with the black band, the Panama straw. This will make you stand out. Any kind of multicolor band is very unique. Okay. So when you put in your outfit together, try to get you something that's got a multicolor band on it. You know, or a different color band, maybe like burgundy or red or or uh, sage green or uh, navy or, you know, something that will really pop. Actually, like a sage green would be nice. You know, maybe even like a yellow band, red band. A multicolor band would be great, though, because it will really make you pop and stand out from other folks wearing the black, the typical black band, Panama hat or Shantung hat, whatnot. So, uh, yeah, so that's one option. And these can come in different colors. You don't have to get the off-white or the bleached ones. You get in uh, burnt orange, something like that, too. Or uh, yellow. Panama hat, hats come in different colors. But 
the variety of colors, you only find them in very unique hat shops that have a unique selection. You're not going to find that everywhere. Typical, that's very common, is the bleached, you know, the off-white color ivory Panama that we you see out there in most uh, places. Okay, uh, the one I was referring to, this is your typical, this is an off-white, almost close to white, you know, black band, Shantung. This is not a Panama, this is a, a Shantung, which is similar, but it's got a much tighter weave on there. You know, it's made out of sometimes wheat straw, you know, uh, mixed with paper straw, that kind of thing. Sometimes, you know, typical standard is typically, you know, like uh, uh, all paper straw, like 100% paper straw. But some manufacturers, they mix it in with, with other stuff, you know. But it's tightly woven and then they're stiff in it, okay. Uh, so, yeah, but, yeah, this is a, another nice selection for a jazz, you know, concert. Center dent, two pinches for door. It's got the curve there. Okay, leather sweatband. This is more of a high quality uh, shantung, not your cheap one, you know whatnot. Uh, and this has got a net uh, netting, net lining on the inside there with a satin uh, liner there in the, in, in the bottom too. Okay, this is a higher quality one here, uh, but this would be great for uh, a jazz concert as well. Again, you know, uh, you know. Uh, this doesn't stand out too much with the color of the band because you're going to find a lot of this out there with the black band, you know. But again, the multicolor band is, is always a uh, a much better way to go uh, if you're able to snap up a multicolor uh, band one. And then you have something like this. You know, this is woven hemp, center dent, two pinches in the front. It's got a nice wider, uh, it's got a double bow on there. Uh, nice wider... Uh, poly uh uh blend band on there mixed with uh, rayon and nylon multicolor feather it's got some burgundy some bronze grays in there okay this is woven hemp which is high quality straw as well this is woven and then it's kind of sewn together almost like a paper straw or something like that some of the versions of paper straw that's mixed with some other stuff so like plastic in there but this is hemp it's woven hemp okay and uh yeah, you know, this is a nice fedora hat. This would be great for a jazz fest. You know, again, this is kind of like an oatmeal color or so, uh, beige oatmeal. You can get something like this in different colors, you know. Uh, you might be able to get it in black and brown, you know. Check with your local hat shop manufacturers. Check online, you know, what uh, higher quality uh, hemp straw hats you can get. Nice leather sweatband there, okay. So... Yeah, this would be great for jazz festivals, okay? You roll out there, people are going to be checking you out like, man, where, where do you get that hat from? Everybody's wearing the bleached Panama with the black band. You step out there with something like this or something, maybe in like yellow or navy or brown or turquoise or something like that. Everybody's going to be checking you out. And I'm trying to tell you now, that's how you stand out, man. You don't want to be looking like everybody else. You, you want to pop out there, you know? Not too much, you know, you don't want to wear off colors that's just totally off colors, but, you know, you want to properly coordinate your attire. You ain't got to be all matchy-matchy either. Have it all the same color from top to bottom with your shoes and everything, you know. So, take some risk out there. Don't be too, uh, don't play too safe on the safety side. And then I've got something like this here as well. Uh, nice, this is about a, between about a grade 8, grade 12 Panama straw hat, okay. Nice weave. Okay, it's got the teardrop top, two pinches in the front. This one kind of throws a little curveball. It's got one of the thin Western, country Western type style bands on there. Okay, very unique look. You don't see a lot of Panama hats out there with, with that kind of uh, type of band. Okay, and uh, nice fedora. It's got a curve in the back. Okay, uh, nice leather sweat band on the inside. It's got that burn stamp that shows that the Panama is original, handmade, hand woven in uh, Ecuador. Okay. On the inside, that tells you that it's a genuine Panama straw hat, okay? Um, yeah, so, you know, you check something like this out. Very nice. It's different than your typical uh, that you would see out there, okay? Uh, you wear this to a jazz fest as well. You know, it kind of pops. If you're able to get you something like this with a nice, thin, Western-style band like that on there as well, maybe in, like, black or navy, you know, uh, turquoise, some other color, you know, whatnot, would be nice, you know, as well. Okay, it ain't got to be like the uh, just the uh, off-white uh, Panama color here. You can get in different types of colors. Again, only certain unique hat shops will have that. Most hat shops, they will have the, the off-white colors whatnot. But if you want to find the different varieties of colors in the Panama, 
you know, uh, with something like this that's higher quality, maybe on like your rays, your navies, you know, your black, you know, Panamas like that. With, with this kind of look, you know, you have to check out some of your higher quality, unique hat shops, okay, that carry some of the uh, very, very unique uh, collection and uh, unique, uh, not, not, not just your, your top, you know, most popular manufacturers, whether in the U.S. or overseas, but you know, some of those uh, hat shops that carry, they have unique collection out there, okay? Folks, if you're enjoying the video so far, you're learning something, you're gaining some ideas, and you're benefiting with what I'm telling you with this options for the jazz and concert uh, hat options for you, what not, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, thumbs up the video, share with other folks who might be interested in hats. Also, check me out. It's G the Hat Guy on Instagram. It's G the Hat Guy. Also, join our Facebook channel. We're trying to grow our Facebook hat group. It's a social, private social hat group. It's uh, the Hatters Lounge, H-A-T-T-E-R-S, Lounge, L-O-U-N-G-E, uh, by G the hat, hat Guy. The Hatters Lounge by G the Hat Guy is the name of the hat group. Send me a request. You have to send me a request to join the group. And then once I uh, get your request, I review it, and then I'll add you to the group. And you can post your own pictures of your hat collection when you're out and about at these concerts, that type of thing. You know, when you're dressed up, whatever, going out, you're outing, whatever. You know, you can showcase your hats, you know, showcase your hat collection, showcase your outfit. Let me see your outfit. Let me see what kind of hats you're rocking to these uh, concerts and uh, different venues and activities uh, for the summertime. You know, the season is here right now, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. So take those pictures, send me the request, and I'll add you to the group, and you can post your pictures on there, okay? Um, and also engage on there, you know? Like the post, you know, other folks post, you know, if you see stuff that you like, like, engage, comment on there as well, okay? And uh, I do have, if you want to support the channel for our hat travels, we're trying to bring you unique hat content from across the country. I've got t-shirts here, okay, for hat fans, fans that, that love my channel, that uh, enjoy the content you want to support. This is where you can support us with your gifts and your tips. Cash app, G the Hat Guy. Dollar sign, G the Hat Guy. Also, PayPal is paypal.m, like Mary, E like Edward, forward slash G the Hat Guy. To donate, you know, whatever gifts or tips you want to give me, you want to donate to contribute towards our expenses for our hat travels. Because I'm going to be traveling, getting on the road, and bring you guys unique hat content from across the country about hats, hat culture, hat education, all kinds of different things, okay, about hats, all right? So to kind of support the channel right now, I'm self-funding a lot of that stuff. So, uh, you know, if you want to kind of help me out to kind of get on the road again and bring you very unique hat content, I, I appreciate your contributions. So these are the t-shirts. You know, this one is an olive color with the orange print. It says, I'm a proud fan of member of G the Hat Guy Hat Club. And then also... It says hat styles, hat travels, hat fun, and hat entertainment. Yeah, that's what the channel is all about. Okay. And uh, we have the one in the, uh, let's see, uh, in the sky blue with the orange print. Same thing. Okay. We also have, let's see here. We have a medium blue right there. And then we also have the uh, royal blue. Okay, very nice prints. I have the navy blue as well. Let me know what your size is in the comment section if you're serious. Only serious inquiries. Also, you can let me know. Send me a message on Instagram if you're interested. At G the Hat Guy. Also in the hat group. Once I add you to the group, you can let me know in the comments and the post that you want to uh, get a t-shirt. Let me know your size and color, okay? And uh, the last one, I do, well, a couple more. I've got the burnt orange Panama hat here. Center dent. It's another great option for your jazz festival, okay? Like you see, and then I've got this one. You know, this is a grade eight, uh, grade 20, I'm sorry, Panama straw hat. Very nice center dent, tighter weave, much smaller, higher quality. It's got a chocolate brown band, leather sweat band on the inside there. It's got the netting, okay, the liner on the inside. Very high quality. These are great awesome for your jazz festival. Thank you for watching the video. Like, share, comment. So when you're stepping out, step out in style, okay, to your jazz festival. Okay, get your very unique looking Panama straw hat, okay? Thank you very much, and uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. To the next video. One love. Salute.